Okay, I can't lie, I do not know what episode number this is. But what I do know is it's a big one. We don't have a game uh, for, for about a month. Yeah, pretty much a month time. And that's against Lech Poznan. So only three games, but the entirety of the transfer window right here. We're doing pretty well. Our last game was a 4-1 defeat to uh, Legia Vishawova. But before then, two wins... Uh, well, okay, it's, it's been up and down, it's always been up and down. But that places us in fourth, with legitimate possibility of getting up into third, and I think that's probably the highest we can expect to finish. I mean, with 13 points off Vashawava, I don't know what the European spots are, but I imagine top three should be enough to get into some kind of competition. I imagine that would be Europa League, top two, maybe Champions League, probably just top one, I don't know. As far as what we need to get in this transfer window I, i'm not entirely sure i think we're probably good uh up front obviously um we've got good fullbacks good wingers maybe an improvement on one of the center mids and maybe a better center back uh upgrade marquez or something even a goalkeeper maybe okay and the transfer window is open and we have nine emails okay so first off is our youth players. They're all looking pretty good. Uh, our lowest one is this one, but they're all 78, 77, 70, uh, 73. But they're all looking pretty good. They can all do better than that, I think. This guy is 63 rated now, and I definitely feel like he could get brought up. But he's 16, and I feel like he's going to increase quicker if I leave him here. This guy looks pretty good. I'll sign him up. No and no. Sign you. Nope. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, Fiolic has been recalled by Genk, so he is gone. And that's that same thing. And uh, this guy, has uh, Simon Nivich, has been uh, recalled as well. Thiago is gone. He's gone to America for two years. Yeah, the transfer window is open, and our squad has just got thinner with three players leaving, Thiago and the two loans. We really do not have a lot of money to work with. So the spots that we're looking at was goalkeeper, defender, midfielder. That's it. We don't have any goalkeeper shortlisted. We do have this guy, Zetch. Um, that's too much money, unless we offered someone in a swap. For center midfielders, uh, I, I found this guy. He would just be rotation. I don't think I need him. I also found this guy who looks very good in the Romanian league, um, but too much for us oh and he's also just joined the club unless we could loan him in nah and then that's about it i haven't been able to find anyone else i think it may be time just to delve through the free agents see what i can find i had a look through uh transfer listed loan listed and the free agents and i've got a few more people uh that are being scouted sukic is listed for loan i literally i know nothing about any of these players um i'm just i i see them and i'm like okay yeah, he's kind of you know, he's, he's got decent everything. I'll give him a look. Gorseth, uh, I'm just getting him for his face. He's transfer listed. Huzec is six foot seven. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking at him. Um, Joza, uh, Jordal, and Arneson um, being scouted. They're uh, transfer listed or free agents. Robin is loan listed, six foot six. And Lindegaard is transfer listed. And uh, we know Lindegaard. And I don't think it's too unrealistic him joining us, especially at this stage in his career. Tordai, uh, I believe he is loan listed. A 23 year old, a release clause for 1.5 million. He could be pretty good. Now, a lot of these we'll have to wait for. So, in the meantime, we should probably look at our own squad. I think I'd like to loan out uh, Pienchak because he's not getting enough games. An option for midfield would be just to bring uh, Lushush uh, back, but I feel like. Oh, that's not actually. That's not a bad fee. Okay. I'm also going to transfer list uh, Pizchek because he just never plays. He never plays, and I always play Balor instead. We have trans. What? What? Is he really? W what? Oh, oh! I thought that this was a transfer offer for our uh, that centre back that I've transfer listed. Um, Rodin. I, I saw Baran and I thought it said Rodin for some reason. I was like, oh my god, I'm accepting that. No, 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 no. He is. This is unnegotiable. I'll block it. I don't know why I just said block it. The Zetch is complete 68 rated. I do think he would improve the squad. But they're not willing to negotiate transfers with a rival club. Damn it, why was I scouting him then? What was the point? We have a transfer offer for 
Peskovic. Is that an, isn't that our goalkeeper? It is. What do I say to this? Uh, I think I'm going to say no. I think I'd rather have him. You know, I, I don't think it's good to sell our main goalkeeper. Scouts finished on Matty's Poly 66 rated. I think I'll shortlist him. We have two transfer offers for Piszczek. One of them lower than the other. They reckon we could get up to 650,000. I think I'm, in that case, I'm just going to accept them both because I think they're both in the range that I'd accept. If we get rid of him, that could really mean we could sign someone else. Ooh, interesting. He's our captain. Van Amersfoort, 24. He's been pretty good for us. I don't think we should be selling our captain in January, so I'm going to say no to that. If this was the beginning of next season, I might consider it. That's a lot of money, but I'm not selling my main players in January. I just don't think that's realistic or smart. Okay, Piszczek is gone. He went to the cheaper one, of course. Okay, all of these are back. Tucic is 64 rated. That's actually pretty good. I could get him on loan. This guy is 60 rated. Not great, but we'll transfer list him or shortlist him. And then Lindegaard is 66. Could get him quite cheap as well. Buzic is only 60 rated, but 6'7". I really like that height. <laughs> Joza, 5'8". 60 rated. I don't think that's really worth it. Arneson, 67 rated free agent. I think I might have to just get him right now, actually. He is 38, so he'll decline quickly, but I think this is a perfect transfer. What's important, I think he will be a starter, so two years and 2.3, and he's in. So the only scout we're waiting on is this guy, who I think will be really good. The transfer offer for Vodoviak. Ooh. Now, I don't use him that often. Ooh. I feel like I could say yes to this. I'm going to try and get a little bit more money than he's worth. Like like above what they think we could get. Is there a player that we could get? I'm not seeing anyone who would realistically come here. Do you reckon I could get Puki? <laughs> I'm just going to ask. How about Puki? No, okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> I probably could have gotten the money. I just wanted to see what would happen. I've never done that. A loan offer for Pienchak which I'll accept. So then goalkeeper options. The highest rated is actually Lindegaard, who we could get for 90,000. <laughs> Between 90,000 and 90,000. I'm going to go in for it. And then I, I might, this isn't final choice. I'm going to go in for it and see what happens. And then I'll go in for others and then decide based on contracts. Just offer his worth, I think. Yep, they're happy with that. Uh, I just realized that I'm <laughs> going into the contract. I didn't even think about it. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can get him on rotation, even though he would be important. Okay, yeah. I mean, his wages are so low, and he's he's definitely... Hmm. Okay, it appears we've just signed Lindegaard by accident. Okay, no, he wants a little more. Um, was that... <laughs> Did I just mess up? He's the same rating as our current goalkeeper. Faster, better handling. Uh, hmm. Okay. I feel like... Mm -hmm. And also Piskovic is on for Why did I do that? I should have gotten one of the loans. Like any of these guys would have made more sense because he is now direct competition and he's not that young. Okay, well, moving on. The only center back that I found that I liked was uh, this guy, 6'7". He's only 60 rated. I'm going to leave this one for now because we might have the money later to actually buy him. And if we do want to buy him, I actually might try and do a loan to buy, which I haven't done yet. And then the midfielders... There is uh, this guy, uh, CJ, who, who's kind of okay. And there's this guy, Suchich, who we could get on loan. We would never be able to buy him, so it would have to be a loan. There's also this guy with the face, uh, Gorseth, who's very, very slow. Uh, so I, I don't think I'm going to go for him. Now, uh, hmm, I could maybe... Yeah, let's go for a two-year loan, just see what they say. They're, they're happy with it. Yeah, could we get it to 30-70, maybe? They want 80-20, come on, man. I mean, this is with about 40-60, 70-30. Okay, how, how about we just go right down the middle, 50-50? What? Okay, that didn't go well. We'll probably be able to come back to that in a minute. <laughs> oh, my. And this game's suddenly come up behind me. I didn't see that coming. Uh, Pianchek has not gone there. Okay, so he's still in the squad. And Vidoviak uh, wants to play. I'm going to say bigger games. Now, here is our team then. I think Arnassen needs to start instead of Marquez. The ARG, for some reason, he's got plus two. I guess because he's happy. So he is actually an increase. If Mar if Marquez was the one in form, then he wouldn't be. Oh my God, why didn't I look at his pace? He's actually slower than Marquez. Oh, I don't think my deals have been too good so far. Uh, and I don't think Lindegaard should be starting. 
because uh, Peskovic is very happy and very in form, which means Lindegaard's going to get very unhappy, and this was just a bad deal. That was terrible. Probably try and loan this guy out. How old is he? 21. Yeah, probably should. I feel like Lindegaard number one makes sense. Shove him on goalkeeper. Loan list, uh, Nyamichiski. Arneson currently has number six. That's not too bad. For some reason, he feels like a 17 to me. I have no idea why. And I'll put him on stopper. Okay, but now is time for Lech Poznan. Now, they are 37 points and we are 30, which means if we won, we would only be four points away from them. So, I think I'm just going to have to go defensive. Okay, here's the team. Uh, big differences are Lindegaard now on the bench, Arneson starting, Dolarski there instead of Loshaj with Tanasi going centre mid and then Baran still in his position. Okay, time for the big game. First game of this episode. Let's see how this goes. That was a good ball. We've got Van Amersfoort through. He can't do anything but put it in. Oh, Baran puts it across and that's a goal. Yes, that's a goal. Oh, Rivaldinho, right? 1-0. Now we just got to defend. What was it last time we played Lech? I feel like we uh, lost quite heavily. This could be massive. Van Amersfoort. Can he put in a decent cross? Oh, that is a decent cross. Oh, he grazed it. Oh. Okay, composed, defending, composed, defending. That's not good. How is he scoring from there? Oh, my days. Give it to Petska. Petska. Oh, that, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, Rovaldinho's god. Oh, why do you do this? <laughs> okay, now let's not concede again. Okay, okay. This isn't good, this isn't good. Okay, he's gone too wide now. I can't score from there. I can score from... Oh, okay. Let's just stay composed. Oh, that's edge of the box. Oh, he went down too early. Oh, oh my god, how's that gone in? Ah. <sighs> How has that gone in? Well, here it is again, and all of the oh. Alvarez. Ooh. Give that to Van Amish for. Oh, he can shoot from here, surely. Oh. Well, I think everybody will be excited by oh my god, how has he got through? Oh. Oh, yes. I can't believe that we're actually, we could lose this game. I thought I had that run. 15 minutes to go. I'm going to bring off Stolarski for Vidoviak. I'm going to put Baran on this left side and Vidoviak on this right side. Or the other way. No, it doesn't make a difference. Okay. This isn't bad. This really isn't bad. Impact sub. Vidoviak. Put that across. Baran. Boom, boom, boom. 3-1. Okay, 3-3, three, three, 10 minutes to go. Do we hold out or do we go for the win? Well, we've got the ball. And we can put Alvarez through. Go on, Alvarez. Go on, Alvarez. Oh. 4-3. Man, this, this is insane. This game is insane. Oh, my God. Now we have to hold out. I think, honestly, with that, I take off Alvarez. Forgot Dosky and get another... Yeah, get you there. And I think I have one more. And I'll make that dimmon. Yeah. Drop back. Yeah, let's do all this stuff. There's a guy making a run. Too far, too far. Okay, we've got this. Van Amersfoort. Oh, Vidoviak. Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> I probably should have squared it, but wow. I think we've got it. Oh god, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> How's that gone in? How come they always score near post? Surely that defender is, should be blocking it. Oh, and surely the keeper should be saving it. Now, how important was this when it hit the post? Could have squared it to Rivaldinho of all people who was on a hat trick. And we would have won 5 3. But nope. Absolutely mental. A draw is not bad in, in the grand scheme of things, but that's mental. That's so sad. Look at this though. Seven shots, four and uh, I can't believe we didn't win this. Okay, Vidoviak, I feel like actually does need to start now. 
So I'll see if I can work out a way of that happening. How long would it take for him to become a uh, cam? 39 weeks, that's almost a year. Because I, I was thinking if I play him cam, then that solves my issue. How bad is the um, the minus if he uh, goes there? Minus three. Two of that is because of the position. One was already due to sharpness. And if I get him on form, that I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm, I'm going to forget about the midfielder. I'll play Tenace, center mid once again. Vidoviak there. Unless, why aren't I just playing him, get rid of the cam and just play him wide? And then we don't have to worry about that. Okay, this is the new formation. We have another offer for Vidoviak, and I think at this point it's just a straight no. I'm not going to try and do anything next season. I might consider it, but he is now in my plans. And that game actually took a sixth, which isn't great. We're still just one win away from third, but we really did let slip there. On the right side, Rivaldinho's bossing it up top. Alvarez and Baran are both up top there. We're nowhere to be seen, really. <laughs> yeah, it's only three. Okay, and now we have Gornick. They are sat in 12th. Last time we played them, we won 3-2. So we should be okay. I'm going to put Lindegaard. Already he's getting... He's 67 now. He, he's 71 technically, but he's, he, he just doesn't know how to save. So we'll give Lindegaard a game. Hopefully he'll be a bit better. Maybe start getting clean sheets. He only needs three to catch up with Peskovic. But I think we should be fine with this formation. They're playing a back three. A uh, back five, sorry. Um, yeah, we should be fine. Well, real excitement here. I Dynamo Schmork. Alvarez would run into that space, please. He does. And now it's a goal. Oh, that was a great finish. Oh! Could just see that space open up and then boom. Boom. Oh, they're in. Lindegaard, first test, I think. And he saves it. He saves it. It was pretty much straight at him and hit his knee, but he saved it. And I'm for it. Oh, my God. How's that gone in? Oh, my God. We should just be taking shots at this keeper, I think. Okay, another test. Oh, and another save. Bit of a weird one. Again, he, I don't think he meant that. <laughs> In that first half, Lindegaard has made four saves. All of them have been kind of easy, but 7.9. If we can get a clean sheet right now, he'll be on form, and then he'll be better. So we've got to do everything we can to get him on that clean sheet. Ah, uh, here it comes, here it comes. Yep, there, there it goes. Clean sheet is gone. Oh my god, is that on? Oh my god, that was a great ball. I didn't even see that ball. That's not what I meant. Oh my god. Is that in? Wait, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it cut straight to that, so I had no idea what just happened. Good finish, I guess. Touch and in. Another good ball to Baran. He can surely put it into Rivaldinho, who will surely score. That's a good finish, bottom corner. 4-1. Why? <laughs> just why? Game ends 4-1. That's a pretty good one. Lindegaard, decent debut as well. Hopefully his form goes up and he can... Yeah, do well. It looks like Lindegaard is incredibly happy. Hopefully this will get his form right up. Oh, and it's deadline day. Yeah, already. Lindegaard is now 69. Peskovic, 72. So if we just get him a little bit more in form, maybe sharpness. That's where he needs it. So he needs game time. Uh, he will be better than Peskovic. I think I'm going to do something pretty big. And I am going to transfer list a 70 rated player. Hanka. I never play him. I literally never play this guy. Okay, what if I use Hanker to try and get someone? Problem is that our current formation means that every single position is incredibly strong. We don't need a center mid anymore. So maybe we try and get like a rotation player using him or someone else. There's this guy, Klops. Um, he's got 93 pace. He's 20. 1.5 million. And how much is Hanker? 1.4. We could do this maybe. I'm just going to submit this. They're interested with a 3% sell-on clause. Could I counter that down if I just got rid of the sell-on clause? Because that's only 3... Oh, 90,000? Sure, yeah, okay. And he already wants sporadic, that's perfect. So he knows he's not going to be playing that much. So he is perfect backup to all of those players. This is perfect. This is perfect. Hanker's gone, and we've got this guy in. Although Hanker now does play for Lech Poznan, which means we'll have to play him. I think that's a really good deal, though, for us. Here he is. 65 rated. 3 star, 3 star, 91 pace. Polish. I think that's good. I think it's good. I'll put him as an inverted wide midfielder, get him faster, get him better at finishing. A transfer offer for Loshaj. I think 
this is in the realms of, yeah, I, I, I would take this. Um, let's negotiate it and get this up to 2.2 2, 2 million. 2.1. Okay. Now, if he goes through, I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to get another midfielder. I'm just going to bring back the guy from loan. A, a transfer offer for Dimon. Where are all these transfers? I, if these came in earlier, I could have gotten all sorts of players. Yes, I would, I would take this. I think I would just pop this up to 2 million. And that's done. So Loshaj is gone. And then with Dimon gone, we'll have no midfielders. So yeah, we'll, we'll get back that guy. Polish on loan at Hamburger. Recall, that's only 4.2 thousand. And he's back in. I need to remember what number he is. He currently wears their number 6 in real life. So I imagine that's what number he had. It is free, so that makes sense. So now he is my backup. Now I wonder if with all this money that I'm getting, I could buy like a good center back. Let's see if there's any of them with release clauses, because there's not enough time to scout people. So this kind of gives us a rough idea of value. Urga, 67, 26, 63. I feel like we want better. We want like almost 70. This guy has a really high release clause in comparison to these guys, so maybe he's good. 20. I know. If we go through all of these, there'll be some that we know a little about, and those are the ones that are higher rated. So, like, this guy is higher rated, right? Yeah, he looks pretty good. This guy is higher rated. 1.4. Don't think we could get him. He's a rival. Here's one. Uh, for Gdansk. He's in bad form. But we'll shortlist him. Let's uh, shortlist him again, see if I could maybe, you know, there's a chance. And then Tiru. Well, he looks very good, I think. So we know this guy's 68, and they will say no. Okay, so that's not happening. And then it comes down to these guys. Urga is 67. Um, Polish, that isn't much of an increase from what we've got. We need one of these to be like 69 or something. This guy's a leader. He is 29. He is injury prone. You know what? I feel like we should just go for the paciest one. He's 54 to 58. He's 46. So he's pacier. This guy's not fast at all. This guy has the highest roof worth 1.6. When he's 1.4, he's 1.8. Oh, he's not going anywhere. I feel like we've got to go for a Teru. This could be, this is an, this is an absolute gamble because we have no idea what this guy's rated. Going to offer a player because we have a lot of centre backs and it's not very good to have. Marquez is only 26. For some reason, I thought he was 36. I'll offer Rodin because he never plays and he's worth a little bit. Oh, they, okay, okay, so we can, yeah, we can afford him right now. Um, they don't want Rodin though. Would you maybe take Marquez? 1.5. Okay, no, they just want money, I think. They don't like the players that we're offering. Can we get this down to 2.1 then? Okay, okay. We're going to have too many centre backs. I'll put him on rotation, see what he says. Say crucial. Oh, okay, okay. So he thinks that he's better than our other center backs. That's a good sign. Okay. Salary. Scary. I'm going to offer him eight. Because that's like quite a bit. Please say yes. Okay, he's good. Moment of truth. How how good is he? Center back, center back, center back. Uh, Tiru. Why is he? He's got a one match ban, but he's 70 rated. Perfect. 26 year old, 70 rated. He's our best one and he's faster than everyone. That is exactly what we wanted. That was such a gamble and it, it worked off. It worked off. It worked out. We do need to transfer list Marquez. We've only got four hours left though. So we're probably going to have a center back issue. What I'm thinking is maybe I could try and swap those players for like rotation players. See what happens. We could maybe do with a a rotation striker. Okay, so some options that we can try and swap with. We could try and get Bolly. Is he? I think he would definitely take that rotation role and he can play up front. I suppose we could try and get this Hushek guy and just swap one of the, like Rodin or something. Found this guy, uh, Gavranovic, valued at about a million. So I think he would just be a little bit worse than what we have, which would be perfect as our bench striker. And then there's this Suchik guy. I don't think we have anyone worth what he is. Let's just go in and see what these, what I can do. I'll offer the players and see how they reply. And based on that, we'll make our decision. So I'll offer Marquez for this guy. Don't like that. What about Rodin? Do you like Rodin? Don't like Rodin. I suppose I could offer Diatev. But otherwise, I don't think we're going to be able to get this guy. Nah, they really want that 760. I'm going to offer what we have. Once that other deal goes through, we could always just try and take this guy. 
Okay, they're coming back to us shortly. Basically, I didn't want them to be like, no, 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 and then us not be able to continue negotiating. Okay, next stop, we'll try Bolly. How would you feel about a little bit of Marquez? He's worth more than your guy. They want Dietev. Okay, how do you feel about Rodin? No, so they didn't didn't like that. Okay, let's let's offer them what they liked a second ago. Um, Dietev plus 250. Okay, they've said yes to that. Okay, I th I'm going to leave these for a little bit just until we have money. Going for Hushek, see what we, see what we can do here. Six foot seven could be something for the future. Start off by offering Rodin, I think. Didn't like that. Would you like Marquez instead? No. So they only really, they only want money. Okay, well, I'm going to pop this down to 400,000 uh, so that we don't lose out on this deal. We'll decide about it once we have that money in from the Dimon deal. They want 420, I'll accept that. Try and get Suchic. Never know. Putting that Marquez, because he's worth a little bit. Really didn't like that. Take a stab. Roden? No. Okay, that's not happening. Okay, so hopefully that Dimon deal should be done now. Oh, this is getting close. Could we please get that Dimon deal done now? Dimon is gone, so we have money to actually do these. Gavranovic, they want a 610. Would you take 550? 630. How about just a, a 600? Just like that, 600. Okay, and now we could get all these three players. This one is the swap deal. So this one's the most important because it means that then we don't have one of the center backs. You will be sporadic. Please take that. You want rotation. Okay, well, you will be on the bench, I guess. And wages, pop that up to four. Okay, Bali is in. Gavranovic, this one is a risk because we don't actually know how good he is. Now, I'm not giving you anything more than rotation. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, we have two very, very good strikers. And if you think you should be important, that means you're too high rated for this team. And then who's check? Really, the only reason why I'm going in for him is because of his height. There is nothing here that suggests that he's going to be good. I want to look at him in my shortlist. Okay. Uh, low attacking work rate, medium. Yeah, we could train that. 71 sprint speed. 71 jumping. Okay. What about his tackling? Tackling 60, 50. He's 20. How much are we offering? 420. Okay. For 420, I think I'll go for it. I'll, I'll take the risk on him. It's the sprint speed that convinced me. Sporadic. I'm going to offer him five because I don't want this to fall through. Okay. Ooh, this is perfect. I got rid of the right-sided one, and now we've got a much pacier right-sided one. That actually worked out perfectly. We still have Rodin, and now we've got Huszczyk and Pienczak on the bench. So that's a little iffy. We didn't get rid of as many centre-backs as I wanted. But our bench is looking a bit different. We've got Bolly, Lushush, and Klups. Our first team only looks slightly different because Tiru and Arneson and Lindegaard also came in this transfer window. Maybe this team here will get more clean sheets. But I think at this point we should just let this go because i don't think we'll be able to get rid of anyone else let's take a look at what's been going on i think uh it doesn't show i think some of these happened in summer but kante's new awa's new gomez is new dignity united i guess that's because they didn't get tellers Gresta to psg upicano to spurs I'll just scroll through this and you can take a look. I think I did just notice one that is actually in the news. Just, yeah, uh, Zachariah, just in the news. This might be old news now, but Zachariah is currently in a bidding war, apparently, with Chelsea United and Bayern Munich. So that's realistic, I think. So we spent three million and made five million. That's not bad. But that is deadline done. Let's take a look at our new youth. This guy, uh, 17, I think we're going to say no to you. 15, and worth more, so that's a yes. 16, I'll sign him up and take a look. Uh, you've got good value, so I'll sign you. Okay, okay, let's take a look at all the new ones who are on balanced. They're all here, three of them. Novak, winger, 92, fast. This guy is a little lower rated, honestly. Part of me thinks already I kind of want to release him, but I think I'll leave him in there until that gap gets a bit smaller. And then um, Markievicz, four star, four star. He could be okay. Janad, 64 tonight. I feel like he hasn't been in here long enough. So I'm going to leave him. This guy, 17, 87 top, 57 currently. 
I think it's time to release you. And now it's time for the, the Poznan Cup game, first Cup game. Last time we played them, we drew 4-4. This will be the last game of the episode. And I think I'm going to change the squad a little. Okay, here's the team. It's 4-4-2. This way, uh, both Stolarski and Holovinia can play. They both need games. Marquez is coming in because I feel like he should do. He played most of the beginning of the season. Peskovic is goalkeeper since he's the backup. This is a cup game, so it makes sense to play him. Then Van Amersfoort stays in. Lushush uh, makes his first game back from loan. Uh, same front two. And then Vidoviak, obviously, he needs to get his sharpness up, so he needs to play. And Baran, honestly, I am I think I could play, like, Kloops or Bolly, but hmm, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather just play Baran. No debut for Taru because of a red card that I guess he got. But I'll put Hushek on the bench. This four at the back might prove... Ooh, oh, uh, might prove iffy. Oh, that was a good ball. Oh, almost. Okay, just mark this middle guy. Mark this middle guy and that near post. Because, my God, do they like scoring near post? And they scored anyway. Oh, come on. How are you not getting that? Oh, if this... Okay. God. Oh my god. Oh, okay. That's a pass back, but okay. Get Baran in. Yes. And Baran's got that. Yes. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Of course I'm starting Baran. Of course I'm starting Baran. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was so unfortunate. Oh, that was a great ball. Alvarez. Yes. Oh, I, thought, I thought the keeper had that for a second. 2-2. Two, two. Is this going to be another 4-4? Half time. <laughs> it seems like it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 3-2. A 4-4 is on the way. I'm, I'm saying it. Oh, play him on. Oh, my God. Okay, we got it. Oh, no, we did not. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Good save. Good save. Vidoviak. Yes. Can you get it to him? Oh, my God. Too far. Too far. And, uh, Alvarez, though. Ah, oh, that was a good shot. Hanker's just come on. He's their number seven. Here he is, Hanker. God, don't... Okay, ah, he's fine. Okay, what can we do to get more attacking? I guess bring on Tanase. Who's better, Klups or Bolly? Bolly. Yes, Alvarez. Put that in, please. 3-3, three, 3-3. Three, three, three. Why is this game against Poznan always so insane? Oh, this looks good. This is good. 4-3. I'm telling you, 4 is happening. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's coming now. It's coming now. Oh, okay, okay. His hanker. Haha. Oh, I feel like it's coming. It is coming. Good save. Oh, my God. Was that on? Oh, that was offside. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, no. Get it. Oh, great tackle. Oh. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Oh, you're joking. Oh my god. Holovinia gives away a pen. Let's just appreciate this good tackle from him before we take a look at the pen. That's a great block. Yeah, this time he just clatters into him. Fair enough. Here's the chance for 4-4. It's going left. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, we've got it at the minute. We've got it at the minute. What an insane game. Last minute corner, I say we bring on six foot seven beast. Who's check for Van Amersmore? Then we put him like that. Here's the team. It's only for a minute, unless it goes to extra time. Here he is, the giant, wearing a tight shirt, interestingly enough. Where is he? Where is he? I see him. I see you. You're going to win this header. And over oh. comes the corner. Doesn't need to. Oh. Can't get all the way and the looks on here. Ooh. Available. God, I don't know. Where's Bolly? So there he is. Of time it'll be. Oh, that was a good touch. Go. A chance maybe from the wide position. Good cross. 5-3. <laughs> is that a hat-trick? I think it's a hat-trick. Hat and we're through. What a win. Bolly with an assist on his debut. And there it is. 5-3. Alvarez the hero. And yeah, it is a hat-trick. That's great. That is great. Man, I don't want to lose this front two. I feel like we're going to get transfer offers in the summer. Unless they want to leave, I'm not letting them go. Okay, that's that's a mistake, isn't it? That's got to be a mistake. Tiru cannot play. 
Or Tiru? I feel like it's Tiru. But yeah, he had a red card. So this is stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're, you, you always play. Come on. Okay, but that is where we're going to end the episode. Uh, I am in full belief that the team that we have now, this amazing squad, uh, can finish uh, in, in the top three. 100%. Next episode... I guess we'll be just finishing this month, I guess we'll do these five. And then the next episode, I guess we'll do those five. And then the postseason begins, I believe. Oh, oh, really? We had to get one of the bad teams in the cup. We've got a cup game next episode midweek. We're actually going to have to start rotating now because these are usually, uh, because there's so little games in the league, we haven't have to worry about rotating. But now we actually do. We could probably play some rotated players in these games and try and prioritize the cup. Not, not exactly any other trophies available for us this year other than the cup. So maybe we should go all for it. Although, then again, I did like that team that we just played. So I might have to set up a cup team. But yeah, tune in next episode to see more goals, I imagine. Uh, but l let me know in the comments. Uh, who's having the better season? Rivaldinho or Alvarez, 18 goals. Remember, some of them were in the cup, uh, in the European thing, three to one. So Alvarez in professional, he's got more goals and more assists, I think. And yet Rivaldinho is the player that I'm really like loving. And Alvarez is kind of in the background in my head. So I don't know. But yeah, tune in next episode for five crazy games. I imagine we'll have tons of goals. Uh, we've got the two top goal scorers and I imagine three top assisters we are just scoring goals for fun